Hi there, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love and light to y'all here. I hope you're having a beautiful new moon in Cancer, the fertile, fertile water sign of Cancer. My goodness, a potent new moon, right? The new moon already speaking of uh, new beginnings, right? The concept of sort of the implantation of a dream, the seed of a vision, um, what it is that you're setting the intention for around this time, being a highly fertile time, a highly creative time as well, um, and a point of also clarity. So we're Wherever it is that let's say cancer resides in a very personal chart, there could be a focus on that archetype, on that planet, on that point, that angle, um, that sphere of life as well, that house placement, um, so on and so forth, right? In the birth chart, right? There could be so many factors at play, but um, there could be a focus specifically on new beginnings, illumination, clarity, as it pertains to that part of the chart. So if this is something you'd like to sort of gain greater insight into, um, then you can calculate your placements via the link below. And as well, there are a number of services on my website, specifically speaking to these particular placements, as well as the uh, placements of your elements and the archetypes in your chart. This 12 zodiac signs, the planets, the houses, and um, the, uh, the the points and the angles, the uh, as well the asteroids, okay, uh, Chiron, and so on and so forth. So if that's something of interest to you, if you'd like greater insight as to how, let's say, all of, all of the um, uh, placements in your chart are moving together, sort of synergistically as a composition. That's something that I tend to focus on uh, in the reports, and those are about 13 pages in depth. So feel free to take a look there. If that's something of interest to you, the link in the bio description box below. Nonetheless, the Moon Manifestation Cycle programs as well are now out and live for viewing. You can click through to the signs that you'd like to um, purchase via the link in the bio description box below. And these readings have been completed, and upon your purchase, you'll receive them um, through email and on the following page. And this they are speaking to the time frame between the 9th about of July and the 1st of August. Okay, so this is the consider the waxing stage of the moon cycle. Speaking of yet again, the new moon in Cancer, the setting of intentions leading up into the full moon in Aquarius, the point of culmination, illumination. Um, a sort of sense of completeness of cycle. Uh, the full moon tends to speak to a grander cycle of macro manifestation that speaks to a six month, six month interval of time. So the full moon in Aquarius, uh, speaking to, let's say, the new moon in Aquarius that was about six months prior, you may find that there's a sense of um, coherency as to what is coming to culmination and fruition in a certain sense around uh, the full moon again in Aquarius around the 27th of July. So um, this particular moon cycle reading will be speaking to, yet again, the new moon energies of the Cancer leading up into the full moon energies into Aquarius, um, the 9th of July leading up into the 1st of August. So feel free, again, to order your signs via the link in the bio description box below. And I know some of you have been asking, which signs do I order? Whoa, how, how does it work? Um, and this is what I tend to say. If you're going to order a single sign, I highly recommend to order your moon sign. Given that, right, the moon sign is the sort of internal being. And you may find that there is a whole lot of illumination there as it pertains to that particular archetype. And you may find that watching your moon sign in general as well, and the general readings and so on and so forth, may you may find that you resonate with, with that sign a whole lot. Uh, I know that I, for example, resonate a whole lot with my moon sign. I am a sun sign Pisces, but my moon sign is Sagittarius, and I resonate a lot with Sagittarius. So feel free right, to um, watch your moon sign. Um, if, uh, let's say, you're watching as well, right, we're following the course of the moon, so you may find that, that specifically the moon sign may provide um, illumination, okay? If you're watching, if you'd like to watch as well, or complement, let's say, your moon sign, what comes through in your moon sign in a general way, uh, with specifics, let's say that you want to focus on um, your, uh, y your let's say, uh, concepts related to how it is that you're, you're channeling your Venus energy specifically as it pertains to matters, concepts of manifestation, I'm back going to mention that in that way, here, um, then concepts related to love, partnership, art, harmony, beauty, finances, material assets, then feel free to watch. You may find that you resonate a whole lot with your uh, Venus sign. You may find that there's illumination there uh, in the reading associated with the sign that your Venus is placed in. Okay, <laughs> if that um, made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at alchemyandyou at gmail.com. I've also included a little guide in the bio description box below uh, that outlines sort of the placements and what they correspond correspond with, what areas of life. So again, Venus uh, co corresponds with those concepts, let's say love, partnership, art, harmony, beauty, finances, creative hobbies, assets. And um, if you're focusing specifically, let's say on 
uh, public life, okay, uh, working with an audience, career, professional endeavors, okay, on a large scale, working with long-term sort of macro vision, then you may find that your north node placement in particular uh, resonates a whole lot with you, as well as in that area of life is right in, in particular, um, and as well the sign that cusps your midhaven angle, okay, the highest point in your chart. So again, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me at alchemyandyou at gmail.com, and if you like to calculate your placements, you can feel free to click the link below in the description box to provide, and that will calculate them for you. If you have any questions, you can also chat me via the chat box link on my website, alchemyandyou.com. Um, let's see anything else. Um, what you'll receive in addition to the readings in this program are, you'll receive a calendar with key dates that have been assigned for the archetype that you are in particular, um, uh, that you that you have selected, okay? So let's say you ordered a Leo Moon Manifestation Cycle program, you'll receive um, a guided alchemical activities PDF outlining specific activities during the stages in this moon cycle, in addition to, um, in particular, the dates uh, underlined for Leo, highlighted, so to speak, for Leo that are uh, uh, focus dates, okay, um, and specific activities that may be uh, most conducive during those times, okay, given the cycle of the moon and the energetic frequency of Leo and its relationship with how the moon is moving through the cycle. So, um, again, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me at alchemyandyou at gmail.com, and the mid-July readings as well are out for those of you who are wondering uh, where the mid-July readings are. They are available on the website as well, and the link is in the bio description box below that is spanning the time frame of the energies of the 15th to the 31st of the month of July. Um, thank you all so much for your due support. Loving light to you all here. Enjoy this new moon in Cancer. And I'm back to mention as well, um, I've newly launched, just now launched, a personalized version of the moon manifestation cycle program. So for those of you who, let's say you want to focus specifically on how this uh, complete cycle of the moon, of this moon stage in particular, rather, is, um, is interesting interacting with stimulating certain parts in my birth chart, um, focusing on right, illuminating certain certain propensities, certain certain um, uh, uh, elements. Okay, and so that right is is can be uh, there can be so many factors at play there. So uh, depending on what your personal placements are, I'll take a look at your birth chart and. Um, devise a protocol calendar hybrid that um, will focus on specifically outlining at each stage of this particular cycle what energies are coming uh, uh, about. So to surface and light. Um, thank you so much again for tuning in. Love and light to you here and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.